In a previous video, we graphed y equals x squared. There's a link in the description and there'll be a card up here so you can get to that video if you need help. But essentially, we chose values for x that we were pretty sure would give us values for y that these would be on our graph. We could have chosen anything and we just put them in. So x is 2, 2 squared, that gives us 4. So we have the point 2, 4. Put 1 in for x, 1 times 1, 1 squared, that gives us 1. 0 would give us 0. Negative 1, a negative times a negative, that gives us a positive 1, and so on. So we took these values here, over here, we graphed them on our graph paper, and that gives us the parabola here that has a vertex at 0. So y equals x squared, that's a parabola, vertex is 0. For y equals x squared plus 1, all this means is that we're just going to add 1 to each of these numbers here. So for instance, if we had x is 2, that'd be 2 squared. 2 squared is 4 plus 1, that gives us 5. So we have the point 2 comma 5. If we have 1 squared, that's 1 plus 1, so this becomes 2. And so on for these numbers here. So the result of this is all we have to do is take our graph, because each y increased by 1, and move it up 1. And that's the graph for y equals x squared plus 1. If it was x squared plus 2, we'd move our parabola up to 2. x squared plus 3 is at 3. So let's go back to y equals x squared here. What if we had x squared minus 1? Well, that would mean each of these numbers decreases by 1, so we'd go down. x squared minus 2, x squared minus 3, and let's just go back to x squared here. So in answer to our original question, the graph for the equation y equals x squared plus 1, that's just right here. And we could put values in for x, get values, the corresponding values for y, and graph them, and this will be our equation. This is Dr. B with the equation for y equals x squared plus 1. Thanks for watching.